What I'd like to do now is just to share with you a couple of ideas to do with some counters and 10 frames. And the 10 frame is really just a tool to help children organize some of their thinking and to see some better visual patterns. So if you look down now, I've got two different uh, configurations of a 10 frame, one with the uh, green counters and one with the red counters. So let me just share the difference between those two. The one at the top made up of green counters shows seven but you'll notice there that it's filled, the five top cells are filled first. So we're focusing on the fiveness here, and then you can see there's two more, so that would give me the seven. Also, I'd like to focus the children on the fact that there are three empty spaces. So seven and what makes 10? It starts to frame or develop their thinking. Compare that to this uh, second 10 frame, and it's got the red counters on it. Now you'll notice that this has been filled in a slightly different way. So in this case here, it's been filled in what I'm going to call a, a pairwise way. This would be a fivewise, this would be a pairwise way. In this case here, you start to see that it was filled with two, and then another two, then another two, and one. It's pretty obvious to see that seven is an odd number, because there's a bit sticking out. You can also see here that there are three empty spaces, so seven and three makes ten. Some children might see four and three make seven. Others might see six and one, and others might see two, two, two and one. They're all just different ways of thinking about using a 10 frame. Both ways are equally valid, and I really hate to prescribe one over another. I tend to like this one first, simply because it does show that odd and evenness. The real power of a 10 frame, however, comes when you start putting two 10 frames together. So let's just have a look at this in this example. So if we were doing something like adding uh, seven and five, and I wanted to show what that looked like in a concrete representation here. Well, you can see there's seven counters there. It's framed up. There's five counters there, so seven and five. Well, then I'd start to move some of these counters. Now, notice I've just used two different colors. Counters, not mixed colors. I just stick to two colors. And you can start to see now that seven and five suddenly becomes 10 and two. And that helps children to think about particularly strategies like the build to 10 strategy and the bridge 10 strategy that you learn when you're adding two single digit numbers.